So Sarah tweeted, uh, thinking about aliens, thinking about aliens. So how much do you think aliens are thinking about other aliens, including humans? So you said we humans want to visit, like we're longing to connect with aliens. Why is that? Can you introspect that? Is that an obvious thing that we should be, like what are we hoping to understand by meeting aliens exactly? It, asking as an introvert, it's like I ask myself this all the time, why, why go out on a Friday night to meet people? What are you hoping to find? I think find? the curiosity, so when I saw Sarah put that tweet, I think I answered it actually as well, which was, uh, we are thinking about trying to make contact. So they almost certain are, it certain, uh, certainly are, but maybe there's a, th a number of classes. There are the those aliens that have not yet made contact with other aliens, like us. Those aliens have made contact with just one other alien, and maybe it's an anticlimax and slime, right? And aliens that have made contact with not just one set of intelligent species, but several that must be amazing, actually. Literally, there are some place in the universe, there must be one alien civilization to not make contact with not one, but two other intelligent civilizations. Mm. Um, so they must be thinking about it. There must be entire um, I mean, degree courses on aliens thinking about aliens and cultural, uh, universal cultural norms. Do you think they will survive the meeting? And by the way, Lee did respond saying, that's all the universe wants. <laughs> So Sarah said, thinking about aliens, thinking about aliens. Lee said, that's all the universe wants. And then Sarah responded, cheeky universe we live in. So cheeky is, is, a, is a, a cheeky version of the word interesting, all of which we'll try to define yes. uh, mathematically. Cheeky might be harder than interesting. Because <laughs> there's humor in that too. Yes. I think there's a mathematical definition of humor, but we'll talk about that oh, in a bit. Oh, interesting. Yeah, uh, sure there is, yeah. So if you're a, a graduate student alien looking at multiple alien civilizations, uh, do you think they survive the encounters? I think there's a tendency to anthropomorphize uh, a lot of the discussions about alien life, which is a really big challenge. So uh, usually when I'm trying to think about these problems, I don't try to think about um, us as humans, but us as an example of phenomena that exists in the universe that we have yet to explain. Um, and it doesn't seem to be the case that if I think about the features I would argue are most universal about that phenomena, that there's any reason to think that a first encounter with another uh, lineage or example of life would be antagonistic. Um, I think, yeah. And, and I think there's a, this kind of assumption. I mean, going back to Neil deGrasse Tyson's uh, quote, I mean, it kind of bothers me because there's a, I mean, I'm a physicist, so I, I know we have a lot of egos about how much we can describe the world, but that there's this like, because we understand fundamental physics so well, we understand alien life and we can kind of extrapolate. And I just think that we don't. Um, and the, the quest there is really, you know, really to understand something totally new about the universe. And that thing just happens to be us. I agree. I agree. There's something else more profound. I think Neil is just being, again, he's just trying to stir the pot. I would say from a from a contingency point of view, I want to know how many ways does the universe build structures, build memories, right? That, and then I want to know if those memories in, can interact with each other. And if you have two um, different origins of life and then origins of intelligence, and then these things become conscious, surely you want to go and talk to them and figure out how, what commonalities you share. And it might be that we're just unable to conceive of what they're going to look like. They're just going to be completely different, you know, infrastructure. But surely we'll want to go and find out a map. And surely curiosity is a property that evolution has made on Earth. And I can't see any reason that it won't happen elsewhere because curiosity probably exists because we want to find innovations in the environment. We want to then use that information to help um, our technology. And also curiosity is like planning for the future. Are they going to fight us? Are, they, are we going to be able to trade with them? So I think that Neil's just, I don't know, maybe... You know, I mean, give a shit. That's really, I think that's really down on earth, right? <laughs> how would aliens categorize humans, do you think? Uh, how would we? So let's put it the other way around. Slime category? Maybe. No, no, no. We Maybe we could, the thing is a bit odd, right? Look at Instagram, Twitter, all these people taking selfies. I mean, does the universe, is the ultimate state of consciousness thinking beings that take photographs themselves and upload them to an internet with other thinking beings looking at each other's photos? So... Um, I think that they What's will be. What's wrong with that? 
I, yeah. so there's, I did not say there was anything wrong but with it. It's yeah. consciousness manifested at scale. Yeah. Selfies. Yeah. On Instagram. It's like the mirror test at scale. Yeah. I do think that curiosity is really the driving force for why we have our technology, right? If we weren't curious, we wouldn't go out left the cave. So I think that um so I think that Neil's got it completely wrong, in fact, actually. Of course they'd want to come here. It doesn't mean they are coming here. We've seen evidence for that. I guess we can argue about that, yeah. right? But I think that um, we want, I desperately, and I know that Sarah does too, but I won't speak for you. You're here. You can. I desperately want to have missions to look for life in the solar system right now. I want to map life over the solar system. And then I want to understand how we can go and find life as quickly as possible at the nearest stars and also at the same time do it in the lab just to compensate. 